Yo, what's poppin' everybody? My name is Mojo. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here and you like the video, make sure you hit that sub button, leave a like, and comment down below what video you think I should do next. Without further ado, let's get to it. I would like to showcase you guys my Def Jade Healing slash Jading setup. I previously did a video about the best Jade gear for death. And uh, I think you guys really like that video. So I'm going to do another video. This is a little bit different. It's going to be healing slash jading. Uh, I mainly use this setup whenever I'm doing fell spawn. Because when you're a jade in fell spawn, if all you do is spam juju on fell spawn, he'll have like five jujus on him. And then you'll be sitting there with nothing to do because he already has five jujus on you. You, you really don't have nothing to do. So yeah, I, I really use this deck when I'm doing fell spawn or any other boss that doesn't really require a lot of jujus or any jujus at all. Here are my stats for this deck i'm having 75 universal resistance 7 percent accuracy no damage at all uh no crit uh 70 14 excuse me 14 12 14 something like that uh block rating and we have 122 percent outgoing the gear that i am using is just a regular regular gear uh we're using the jade hood of mystery uh best gear in the game for healing and uh well not the best gear in the game for healing but definitely the best gear in the game uh for jading that's why people call it jade because the gear's name is Jade. There is better gear for healing, but you won't have that much resistance. So I would recommend you use the Jade gear uh, for healing and resistance. But yeah, I'm using a Jade Hood of Mystery. We're rocking a spooky uh, carnival suit. Uh, we're rocking the boots, the Jade boots. For our wand, we're using the Root of Springs. For our anthem, we're using the Mercy of Shadow and Light. For our amulet, we're using the Exalted Life amulet. And for our ring, we're using the Stone of the Other Side. Uh, for our pet, we're using this pet right here. I'll get in, into more detail in a minute. I just want to show you guys everything that I have first. And then for our deck, we're using their healer deck or the Interstellar Warriors deck. Okay, so the, the main points of this gear is the robe, the wand, the ring, the pet, and the deck. Those, those by far are the most important parts. The reason why the robe is very important, especially if you're a deaf wizard, is mainly because of the spell. Now, if you're gonna be the healer of the group, you have to make sure you have AOE heals. The thing that breaks you apart from death and life is that life has rebirth. This is a really, really good healing spell. Death doesn't have rebirth. I don't even think we have an AOE healing spell at all. So you having Kiss of Death brings your value up a lot. And Kiss of Death is a, is a really, really good spell. It's a, you take a thousand damage, which is pretty much nothing, and you give 750 health to yourself and the entire team. And on top of that, the gear doesn't have bad stats. It has a lot of health, 20% uh, outgoing, 21% resistance. Like that is really, really good. This is a very very good robe so you're going to want to get this robe secondly is the wand the reason why i use this wand and not the one that gives me 24 percent outgoing i'm losing 12 percent outgoing but i'm gaining another aoe heal uh this spell right here it is it is a um it is a may cast so keep that in mind but it's like 80 percent, i believe you know every time i use this it doesn't happen every single time i'd say like 80 to 90 percent of the time i can depend on this like this is a spell that i will use and be confident that it will actually work now the rebirth is a little bit nerfed it's only 400 health i think the normal rebirth is like 720 or something like that however with this gear setup i do like 1100 uh, 1500 heal every time i use it and it only costs me two pips at that so this one, I prefer this one over the 24% outgoing any day. And then it, it looks good on top of that. Like I don't even stitch this one at all. Like it just looks like a good wand. Secondly, what we're going to be using is the Mercy of Shadow and Light. The reason why I use this is purely because the 21% outgoing and the two, uh, a circle slash and on top of that, the triangle. I socketed a Weaver spell to this triangle just so I could get me another AoE spell. I'm telling you, AoE spells, AoE healing spells is very, very, very vital in a group setting if you're gonna be the healer. Very, very, very vital. So this was the most important point of why I use this. And on top of that, of course, you're gonna do the uh, the outgoing. Now I could have 6% more outgoing if I had the best mending opals in the game. And I'm too lazy to farm them. So we're just gonna stick it at this. Um, you know, I, I still do a pretty good job in my group and everything. But yeah, just make sure you have some healing opals in here. 3% uh, or more is what I usually try to go for and everything. And for you to get the rebirth spell, I will leave a link down below of how you can get the rebirth spell and socket it yourself. I did a video on it and everything. So I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in that. Secondly, for the, the amulet, you're going to want to have a life amulet. If you don't have a life amulet, 
everything is just ruined like you you won't be able to heal nothing but using kiss of death sacrifice and that's it and that is not enough you definitely 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 want to get yourself a life amulet i believe this is the best life amulet in the game mainly because it gives two percent outgoing which is a small amount but it counts so this is why i got this one you can use any life amulet you want but i believe this is the best one in the game secondly or fifthly or whatever third i don't know what number we're on but next we're going to be talking about the ring stone of the other side i see people using this ring and another ring which i forgot the name of but it gives 36 percent outgoing which i understand why people would choose a 36 percent outgoing versus the 33 percent outgoing however this ring comes with a open slot for a circle jewel and the other ring does not so at the end of the day this will have 39 percent outgoing and the other ring will just have 36 percent outgoing so this ring is better so yeah this is i love this ring maxed it out six percent outgoing six percent incoming 125 health bomb of a ring just 10 out of 10 ring for sure lastly for our pet we're using a copper cyclops that cycle copper colossus oh my <laughs> copper colossus that gives 15 percent universal resistance along with 12 percent outgoing may cast sanctuary and may cast mid now already this pet is really really good 40 spells he gives 40 percent outgoing for all friends which is a pretty solid spell i use it kind of often uh, i rather use the one for my wand but this one isn't a bad spell either the main points about this spell is the outgoing the resistance and the may cast the may cast men is really really good the may cast sanctuary doesn't really cast all that often i think i've only seen it like one or two times and then the may cast men is, is pretty often cast so if i were to change this up i would probably replace this with a heal uh maybe unicorn maybe maybe sanitar i, I, I don't i don't know but sanctuary might not have been my best choice however the resistance and the outgoing 10 out of 10 if I were to replace this pet with another pet, which I think you guys should, I wish I would have, and I kind of want to, but I'm too lazy right now. But yeah, another pet that you can get is the is the Ancient Rotting Dryad. Now this was gonna be a Jade pet. It probably still is a Jade. I just gotta level it up. But the reason why I would choose this pet, put these stats on this pet, is because this pet gives you an a AOE healing spell once it's at Mega or Ancient. I don't know when it is. But at the end of the day, it gives you an AOE healing spell, which is really, really good. I think you only get one card, maybe two, but it gives an AOE healing spell, which is pretty bomb. I'd rather have the AOE healing spell than the brilliant light spell any day. Lastly, we're going to be talking about our deck. The reason why I chose this deck mainly is just because the triangle slot. There's not really another reason. Uh, I would choose just any random deck as long as it has a triangle slot. And the reason why I wanted it to have a triangle slot is, be is for the rebirth. Like I said, AOE spells are absolutely amazing, okay? AOE healing spells, very, 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 very good. So yeah, this is the reason why I chose uh, Rebirth. Now, a lot of people I know have Pigsy. I personally don't have Pigsy, and I do a pretty good job in healing situations for not having Pigsy, mainly because I have six aoe healing spells right here and then i train up to get a uh, sanitar and then you know all the other ones so yeah while we're here we might as well talk about the deck i pack a lot of heals the only thing i focus on is heals i do pack some jujus and i do pack some faints because i am a death wizard people expect you to faint people expect you to juju in situations so it's important for you to have those spells but your main focus is to heal so you want to have a lot of heals i have what like six heals here not counting my aoe heals on top of that a few empowers i might just max that out and uh yeah have some have some radicals here have some cycle of lives here have some serums here you know it's, it's a pretty good and solid deck so yeah this is a pretty good pretty good class setup for a death uh jade slash healing setup hopefully this helped you guys and you learn from it and you become an amazing death jade healer if that's your thing thanks for watching everybody i'll see you in the next video have a great day